The increasing pressure on land is disturbing the natural balance between the soil forming and soil depleting processes, thereby leading to serious land degradation problems. About 121 million hectares of land, accounting for 36.7% of the total geographical area of the country, is suffering from various forms of land degradation, thus threatening food, livelihood and environmental security. Water erosion alone is the chief contributor to land degradation, accounting for 68.4% of the total degraded area. Over 5.3 billion tons of fertile topsoil gets eroded annually, equivalent to about one millimeter depth of topsoil, which otherwise is formed in the natural process over 40 to 50 years. Similarly, Gullies and ravines are spread over 4 million hectares. Realizing the enormity of soil erosion problems in the country, a chain of soil conservation research, demonstration and training centers were established by the Government of India during the first five-year plan at Dehradun, Kota, Bellari, Udagamandalam, Vasar, Agra and Chandigarh, which were transferred to the Indian Council of Agricultural Research that is, ICAR in 1967. Subsequently, ICAR combined these research centers and established the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, popularly known as CSWCRTI, on the 1st of April 1974 with its headquarters at Dehradun. Two more research centers were established at Datia in Madhya Pradesh and at Koraput in Orissa during 1986 and 1992 to tackle the soil and water conservation problems in the Bundelkhand region and shifting cultivation areas respectively. The primary mandate of our institute is to develop strategies for controlling land degradation and rehabilitation of the degraded lands under all primary production systems so that the productivity on arable as well as non-arable lands may be improved by following the concept of participatory integrated watershed management. This concept was evolved by our institute in the early 70s. The thrust areas of the institute include water erosion appraisal, conservation measures on arable and non-arable lands, hydrological behavior of watersheds, rehabilitation of areas affected by mass erosion, participatory integrated watershed management, socio-economic analysis of watershed management projects, and human resource development. The Institute complex accommodates laboratories, a library, exhibition hall, auditorium, committee rooms, seminar room, guest house, trainees hostel, and residential accommodation for staff members. Organizational setup of the Institute is presented in this organogram. There are four divisions devoted to research and development activities, namely soil, science and agronomy, hydrology and engineering, plant science, human resource development and social sciences. The Institute has excellent experimental research farms with modern facilities to conduct research, training and extension activities in different agro-ecological regions. The Institute's headquarters and research centers have well-equipped laboratories for analysis of soil, plant and water samples related to research in soil and water conservation and watershed management. The Institute Library is enriched with a large number of reference materials, publications and is fully automated by Libman software. The ARIS cell has radio link connectivity and is also equipped with a geographical information system for spatial and non-spatial data analysis. The multidisciplinary research and development activities of the Institute and centers aim at evolving strategies for soil and water conservation on a watershed basis, tackling special problems such as torrents, 
landslides and mine spoils, reclamation technologies for gullies, gravelly and bouldery soils, sloping lands, runoff harvesting, diversification, demonstration of technologies for popularization and imparting training and community participation, which have been amply demonstrated with a fairly good degree of success. The Institute organizes several short-term capacity building courses in soil conservation and watershed management, besides two regular five and a half months duration training courses every year for officers and field functionaries of different levels. The hilly region characterized by high intensity rainfall, young and weak geology, gravelly soil, steep slopes and high dependency on natural resources for livelihood is confronted with the problems of high erosion rates, landslips and landslides, torrential floods, and low productivity from arable and non-arable lands. The headquarters at Dehradun and regional centers at Chandigarh and Udaga Mandalam are working for the northwestern Himalayas, Shivaliks, and the southern hilly region respectively. The headquarters at Dehradun has evolved a number of resource conservation technologies for the northwestern Himalayas. For arable lands, the major agronomical measures include conservation tillage, maize and cowpea intercropping system, and vegetative barriers for maximizing productivity and improving soil quality. Similarly, mechanical measures include conservation bench terracing and bench terracing on steeply sloping lands. Several agroforestry systems have been evolved for productive utilization of degraded riverbed bouldery lands. Cost-effective technologies such as geotextile for landslide control, bioengineering measures for mine spoil areas and torrent control have also been developed. For livelihood security of poor and small farmers in the middle Himalayas, a water mill based integrated farming system has been developed. The research center at Chandigarh is developing soil and water conservation technologies for reclamation of degraded lands, increasing agricultural productivity and popularizing the integrated watershed management in the Shivalik region. Whereas the research center at Udaga Mandalam is developing and demonstrating conservation technologies for preventing environmental degradation and improving livelihood security in the southern hilly region of the country. The programs initiated by these centers have shown encouraging results in preserving the natural resources and also providing livelihood opportunities to the resource poor people in these areas. The research centers at Agra, Kota and Vasad are developing various technologies for reclamation of ravine affected areas and utilizing them effectively for enhanced crop yields by augmenting in situ moisture conservation. The research center at Bellari in Karnataka was established in 1954 to address the soil conservation problems of black soils in the semi-arid region. The technologies of compartmental bunding and contour ditching have been found effective in mitigating the impact of intermittent droughts and achieve higher productivity. The research center at Datya in Madhya Pradesh is developing technologies for improving the soil quality and in situ moisture conservation for enhanced crop yields on arable and non-arable lands. Similarly, the Koraput Research Center is addressing the soil and water conservation problems of shifting cultivation areas in red and lateritic soils. To achieve synergistic benefits of soil and water conservation technologies on a sustainable basis, the Institute evolved the concept of participatory watershed management in the 1970s by developing four pilot model watersheds in the mid-Himalayas, Shivaliks and semi-arid regions of the country. These programs yielded tremendous tangible and intangible benefits and earned appreciation from all concerned. Drought-proofing potential of this approach was amply demonstrated during the severe drought of 1987. Social audit of these programs 
culminated in the National Watershed Development Programme for rain-fed areas in 1991 and the launching of many other programmes by various ministries subsequently. The Institute collaborates with several international organisations, ministries of agriculture, environment and forests, rural development and textiles, NABAT, state agencies, etc., to promote the cause of soil and water conservation. In recognition of outstanding contributions and achievements, the Institute, Director and Scientists of the Institute have been honoured with many prestigious awards by ICAR, ministries and other renowned national and international organisations. The Institute is continuing its research endeavours to evolve innovative and cost-effective technologies to conserve natural resources in a viable and eco-friendly manner through efficient utilization of in-situ rainwater, checking land degradation and improving productivity of all primary production systems to achieve the ultimate goal of food, livelihood and environmental security in the country.